Sorry, I do my research. And the thing I'm referring to is when Peter Hitchens said about the rapes that occurred in Oxford, that the, obviously the fact that these were Muslims was important because if you engage in a discourse where you think of other people as infidel and think of other people as lesser, that makes you more likely to be a rapist. That's why Muslims are more likely to be raci- rapists. Exactly what you said. Where? When? Uh, 2013. Look it up. You wrote it. <laughs> Google I didn't, it. I didn't. Right. I didn't. Okay. It was the wrong the person. The problem is that this is. I, I mean, obviously, I did my research before the rape. That's just moronic to say that I didn't. Check it yourself. You should remember what you write, especially when it's that offensive. You should okay. get a new search engine. The reason is that this also leads to harm, right? The reason why this discourse is so instrumental in perpetuating violence is obvious. Because apartheid doesn't make any sense if people aren't engaged in a discourse of racism. It would collapse under its own ridiculousness. It has to be buttressed by that discourse. Homophobic attacks make no sense without a discourse that legitimises homophobia, without playing into that discourse and being part of that conversation. Transphobic attacks make no, and all of, the tra- all of the trans women and trans men who die in this country and other countries makes no sense without the discourse that Brendan O'Neill specifically perpetuates when he refuses to recognise their chosen gender identity. Islamophobic attacks in the UK make absolutely no sense without a discourse of Islamophobia, without the discourse that Peter Hitchens himself perpetuates. <laughs> Peter Hitchens, when you write that a discourse of Islam is what causes Muslim men to rape, you are engaged in a discourse of censorship. You are saying that the discourse of Islam is something that is wrong, something that should not be allowed, something that you object to. uh, Yeah, go for it. Is it not true that to have a different opinion isn't the same as telling other people that they shouldn't have or they can't have that opinion? Absolutely not! No!